I'm Alex and this is Technical. Foobar 2000 is an incredibly powerful music app that works on desktop devices and mobile devices. And as such, it lets you do a wide variety of things that go way beyond just playing back music. And one of them is hosting an online media server. This is very simple and very straightforward to set up, but for whatever reason, I haven't found a good tutorial on it, so I decided to make one. Everything you need is gonna be linked in the description below. And at the end of the video, I'll get into the why of setting this up. So first things first, download the component off of FUBAR's website, install it, and then we can get into the settings for it. So under preferences, you'll find a new entry under tools called UPNP, and that's the component we just installed. And the two settings pages that we're most interested in are the basic settings and the internet access settings. You can also control the quality of the stream whether or not it's transcoded, all that good stuff under the streaming profile. And then you can change how the content is sorted and stuff like that, or what's available on the media server here. So for basic settings, this component requires you have a public IP address and a port assigned to it. The port it automatically assigns by default is 56923. Just keep note of that for later. And then we hit start server and then go down to the internet access settings, hit allow internet access. And first we need to enter our public IP address. Now, this is blurred in the video for a very good reason. You should never ever share your public IP address with anyone you don't trust. And even then you probably shouldn't share it anyway. And the reason for this is if someone gets your public IP address, they can do all sorts of malicious and nasty things to your computer and home network that you really don't want them to do. So while you can go to Google, type my IP and get your IP address and copy it into FUBAR, just don't share this with anyone. If you want, you can go the extra mile and set up your own DNS server to obfuscate your IP address, but that's way beyond the scope of this video. And for our purposes, we're just gonna use the public IP address that your ISP has provided you. That said, your ISP might change this number from time to time. Typically it lasts for several weeks though, so if it stops working out of the blue, chances are your IP address has been changed by your ISP and you just need to re-enter it in FUBAR and the FUBAR mobile app. So look up your IP address and then we're gonna copy it and paste it into FUBAR's public IP or hostname address field. And then we're gonna add the components port, which is colon 56923. Now we need to set up the login and password. For this video, I'm just gonna use username and password, but obviously you should configure it to something a little bit more secure. So username, password, and then hit apply. Once you hit apply, the media server is now being broadcasted over the internet at this IP address at this port. Now on our mobile device, we open the FUBAR app, go down to media servers, and we have to add a user specified server. And the way we do this is HTTP colon double backslash, and then we enter the username and password separated by a colon. So in this case, it's username colon password. Next you do at and then your IP address. And then we need to specify the port. So colon 56923. Finally, we do slash device description dot XML and hit done. Once you've done that, you're now ready to access your entire media library from your mobile device. So tap the server and then you can access media library. You can go to artists, give it a second to load. And then all of your music will be listed here. You can also do albums. Again, it might take a second to load because it's literally loading your entire library over the internet. And then you can play back anything you want. Now, in addition to having full access to your entire music library, you can also access the playback stream from the instance of FUBAR running the media server itself on your computer. You do this by going to the playback stream capture, tapping playback stream capture, and then if you're playing something on FUBAR, a stream of it will automatically start playing on your mobile device. The big benefit of this is that if you have a bunch of devices like a home theater system that you all want playing the same music at the same time, you can point them all to this playback capture stream and they will all play back the same thing at the same time in sync. Before I go, I wanna talk a little bit about why you would wanna do all of this. Well, if you're using a mobile device to play music, 
you're probably using a music service like Spotify or YouTube Music or some other service, maybe Pandora. While all of those services are really great, especially for people that don't have an extensive music library, for people that do have an extensive music library or don't want to have to constantly listen to ads to listen to any music at all, setting up FooBar to work like this is really a fantastic alternative to using those apps and services. That said, the one big downside is that unlike those services, you need to have FUBAR running on your computer and your computer needs to be running for you to access the media server remotely. So if you turn your computer off, your phone won't be able to access your media library. And that can be a little bit frustrating. You know, if you don't wanna leave your computer on all the time, what are your options? Well, you can buy something like a Raspberry Pi and run that as a media server, but it's got its limitations. You know, this is not setting up a music service on the cloud. This is, I'm gonna access my music remotely. So keep that in mind and happy listening, I guess. <laughs> anyway, that's been my time. I'm Alex, this has been Technical. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for future content. Thank you for watching.